In September 2021, a demonstration project began on an island in Fukuoka Prefecture, involving all the residents there. This project aimed to get the entire island to use additive-free soap in everyday life. The project was launched by Shabondama Soap, a soap manufacturing company based in Kitakyushu City, Fukuoka Prefecture. Shabondama Soap was founded in 1910 as a general merchandise company. In the 1960s, with the spread of washing machines, synthetic detergents became the company's main products. While synthetic detergents became increasingly popular as they were inexpensive and cleaned well, water pollution became increasingly more serious due to domestic sewage. It was a major social problem. Shabondama Soap quickly realized the negative impact of synthetic detergents. In 1974, the company changed its position and started producing and selling additive-free soap products, determined to focus on making soap products. It was like going backward in time. The corporate philosophy of Shabondama Soap is promoting healthy bodies and clean water. To realize that, in 2021, the demonstration project, unprecedented in the industry, began to prove that soap is friendly to the earth and living creatures. The project took place on Jinoshima Island in Munakata City, Fukuoka Prefecture. It is a small island on the border of the Genkainada Sea and Hibikinada Sea, with a population of around 140 people. In this island-wide project, the people living on this nature-rich island were asked to use soap every day for three months to see the impact of domestic sewage on the environment and living creatures. Four groups from industry, academia, government, and the private sector Shabondama Soap, Munakata City, Yamaguchi University, and Kyushu Environmental Evaluation Association teamed up for this study. While data existed on soap biodegradation rates, no studies had been conducted on the environmental impact of soap on a specific region. As the study continued, there was concern about whether meaningful results could be obtained. However, those results came far more quickly than the research team anticipated. When sewage reaches a sewage treatment plant, contaminants such as debris, rocks, and sand are removed, and then the sewage is purified using bacteria. A tank called the aeration tank treats sewage using bacteria. When the team checked the state of bacteria resident in the aeration tank, during the time the islanders were using the non-additive soap, the results were surprising. This image from the analysis shows the results. The darkness of the lines indicates the amount of bacteria present in the water. As the islanders used more soap during the project period, these lines became darker. The number of lines, which indicates the number of types of bacteria, also increased. Bacteria is essential for turning domestic sewage into clean water. The research team found that switching to soap increased the amount and number of types of bacteria, which had a positive impact on conditions in the aeration tank. Domestic sewage is considered to be one of the major causes of ocean and river pollution. Approximately 70% of it comes from kitchens, bathrooms, and laundry. In this demonstration project, the research team analyzed both the condition of the sewage treatment plant and the quality of water that flows out from the plant to the sea. The team also quantified the amount of synthetic detergents contained in water. The results showed that traces of synthetic detergents decreased when the islanders were using the additive-free soap and increased again after they stopped using the soap. 
Judging from the BOD value, an important parameter for assessing water quality, it became clear that using the soap helped make sea-bound water cleaner. Jinoshima Island in Fukuoka Prefecture, which cooperated in this demonstration project, is an area actively engaged in rocky shore and boat fishing, including natural wakame seaweed known to be supplied to Japan's imperial family. With the aim of raising awareness among the islanders and fishermen about the impact of detergents, another laboratory experiment was conducted to compare how soap and a synthetic detergent affect the growth of wakame seaweed budlets. Soap and synthetic detergents were added to wakame seaweed budlets. Observation revealed that all of these budlets shrank in size and did not grow as quickly. Additionally, when wakame seaweed was exposed to an undiluted synthetic detergent, its pigments decomposed and turned white in just one day. On the other hand, wakame seaweed, to which soap was added, grew as big as those to which nothing had been added. It is thought that soap is unlikely to affect the growth of wakame seaweed. Domestic sewage generated by us is treated at sewage treatment plants and then released into rivers and the ocean. But if hazardous chemicals are left untreated, what impact will they have on the environment? The research findings reminded us that the detergents we use in everyday life do affect the natural environment that we live in. Nihonでは下水処理施設が発達していますが、世界の生活排水の約90%は未処理のまま放流されているという行政機関の報告もありました。今後このような一歩踏み込んだ実証実験に取り組み、石鹸が地球環境にどう貢献していけるのか、その価